insane. When we first started this, you said it's hard to put yourself in the mindset of back in the summer <laughs> when you like, and for me, it's actually frighteningly easy because I'm thinking, oh my God, United got Ronaldo. Yeah. Like <laughs> they might finish behind city by a point. We'll see, you know, like that it wasn't just Ronaldo. Though. That whole shit was gonna Sancho. T- was it was Veron. Sancho, dude. I mean, Veron was confirmed before the season, like before we even did the prediction, like the prediction table, the table predictions. Right. It was like in the Euros when it was going through. So, so yeah, I was like, I would have yeah. put money down that United would finish at least second. I was like back to being terrified of them in a way that I never had. So that was my second place pick. That was also like, my second was, place yeah, pick. I yeah. figured that yeah. you had them too. You must have had them relatively high in the top four. I had United second. You had United second. Okay, so we all had United second. Yeah. Okay. Ole at the wheel. We were in two finals. I know they, were, they, were, <laughs> they were willing to stand behind Ole like he was the guy moving forward. I think I, I even said, like speaking as, as a United fan, I even said this is the last season where he can get himself to a final and or have a season without success and then it has to be over. Yeah. Um. And I did trust him. I think going into the season, I was confident. All right, he's got the investment. He's got the backing. We played some, you know, we had some bright moments of football, but at the end of the day, it was always good vibes and pure individual talent, which you, especially you saw that during this, you saw a lot more of that this se- this season because of how much more talent was there compared to previous seasons, relying on Ronaldo, um, relying on Bruno a lot. Uh, and Sancho eventually finding some form and was still just like, it was an individual across the board. Just, that's how we played. There was never a real system in place. And for me, I chose United based off the investment that they put in, which I just made a point of saying investment's not the key to every successful club. So um, it's about the right investment and the right manager and the right system. So yeah, no, I think the pick itself, I think most people looking at the, at the Premier League season thought United were going to be title contenders. Obviously, they finished outside top four. <laughs> Did they? Yeah, <laughs> top, <laughs> top six. So, uh, but yeah, no, I think it was. A, well, this what a, what, a, what a horrible season it was for the club. I mean, probably the, the worst, the worst, the worst season on points in history of United's uh, Premier League runs. And but points is like number of managers. Like, you're a fan. Fuck points. Literally, fuck anything that has to do with points. This was awful because of the like the football. Like, oh yeah, points no, are one thing. But I, I know I'm you're just, like, I just wanted to watch ninety minutes of good shit. That's all I wanted to do. It was. It wasn't. Even, it wasn't even, even a half. Give me a half. <laughs> they it could was, at least do that under Ole. They would yeah, play right, horrible right. in the first forty five. Yeah, yeah. And right. then come out and play like gods in the second and Beats win like two shitty halves. Like <laughs> and like I even like I'm I'm just saying the points thing to prove a point that like. Even, as poorly as it was, it was also poor and statistically speaking. Like we weren't just bad; we were bad in terms of history. Like this is historically the worst season ever. Right. And on top of that, we played like absolute shit. It's, so, and it's a time period too where the oldest players have the loudest mouths. Arguably, yeah. the worst time to Jeez. be really bad and to have your career worst season. The question I, I would pose, and I feel like this this is you can attack this in a lot of different ways, but. And we'll wait until we're far into this summer transfer window before we make our predictions, obviously, as we did last summer. But will this like, will this United pick for you guys? Like, will this change the way that you let's use just because they're my team Spurs, for example. Let me just uh, paint a world where Spurs sign Jed Spence. Uh, we bring in that really good center back Bastoni, bring in another really good young player, like like a good midfielder type. Imagine Jesus and shows up to him. Jesus is like a, as it comes in whatever role he would be accepted as like people would start to go. Oh my God, is this the year Conte <laughs> does it with Spurs? And again, to just remove like the fact that it's Spurs, like now will you just think twice when a club just like, pardon my French, like blows their load on signings <laughs> and they're just like, <laughs> we brought in all these great players this time. It like you, it really does require like now it takes so much more than that to, to do, as we found out with United, like, would that change? Are you now like uh, fuck transfers? I'm going on like club genealogy, what type of football they play. Like, you know, it's yeah. a long season. So, I mean, I would expect Spurs to finish above United. If speaking on United's picks for next season, based off the fact that you have, pr- you have a proven manager in a proven season where he was able to get your club to top four. Ten Hag, while he is a gr- like a, a really high caliber, you know, up and coming talent and, and managerial um, ability. I still think that there's a lot of unanswered questions about United squad, the backroom staff, um, who's leaving. I know there's a number we could, we've, you've seen all over the news, a number of players that are leaving just based off their contracts expiring. And, you know, some you would not would say 
particular cancers to the team, but just egos and people and, stuck in traffic. Yeah, it, it's just little things like that that yeah. that need to be pushed away. That and bringing a new a new DNA for United and for the long term future of the club. So I think for me, I'm going to be looking at next season for United to get top four, but I'm not. I'm not banking on it. Like I, I can't bank on it because that's unfair for me to ask. And any, I think any United fan, it's unfair to ask of that because how, how badly we went back in time in terms of quality this past season. Like you thought we were going in the right direction with Ole and we were, we were in finals. We were, we finished second in the league um, and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, this club still has so many issues that are unresolved and, we took a major step back this season and to expect anything like to expect the league to expect top four is ridiculous because that's just unrealistic. You need to look at it from a realistic perspective, play good football and have trajectory going forward, not backwards. Yeah. So.